Good morning, everyone. Hopefully you enjoyed your short spring break, even though it doesn't really feel a lot like a spring break since we are already at home. But I hope you enjoyed some time without having to check your emails and Google Classroom for assignments and all that fun stuff. So I'm coming back to you today with a new assignment for middle school social studies and just give you a couple quick updates. Number one, as of this morning, and it is currently 10, 14 a.m., I have updated all of the grades and assignments on Skyward for all of those who have turned in your work. So if you are still missing work, you of course can continue to submit that once you get it done. But just for those of you who are curious where you're at with your assignments and what grades you got on everything, that is currently up to date as of this morning on Skyward. Now, uh, late or early last week, excuse me, we finished both lesson one and two to start unit five. So we are going to do the next part of the unit five packet. So I'm using the sixth grade social studies as the example, but this is the same on all of the classrooms. So if you go to classwork, Right here, the Unit 5 Work Packet, the Early Republic. Now, I returned all of these, and there was one student who actually did the entire packet all at once, so that's why there's still one turned in here. But for all of you who submitted your first part of your packet, I will return it back to you. So then once you finish the next part of the packet, you can then resubmit it, and then I will grade it again and return it back to you once we do the third part of the packet. But, so we're going to go on to the second part of the packet. So... You should have already, once we click on this. Again, part one for the packet was to simply read page one. Okay, there we go. Um, was to read page one, which is an overview of the unit. Again, you did not need to answer these questions. These are just simply questions we should cover in the unit. And then for part one of the packet, you were to do the vocabulary. All right, so this is just a blank document I'm using, so that's why this is empty. Now, for part two, what I'm going to ask you to do is, since we just finished lesson two, talking about how Thomas Jefferson purchased uh, this whole Louisiana territory with the Louisiana Purchase, as well as talked about Lewis and Clark and Sacagawea um, doing some discovery up here in the northwest part of what is now present-day Washington and Oregon, uh, you are then going to do page three here, which is the geography of early America and you'll just simply answer these four questions in these four boxes and then you're also going to do the people to know which you should be familiar with because we've done this in previous units but what you will do is simply copy and paste the names into the boxes and then you will click on their name to get some general info on them so for example John Adams click on this link here and it'll pop up a biography on John Adams. You again do not have to read this entire thing of course. You can if you want to if you have some free time. Um, but then once you read through that on John Adams you are then to give uh, I will ask for two contributions for each person. So um, and also you'll be if you're curious why does this say term because these three boxes are for the presidents so you will say what term they served so for example uh, John Adams as president served um, from, I believe, 1796 to 1800. Yep, 1796, he was elected president. So uh, here you would simply put 1796 to 1800 because then in 1800, who will defeat John Adams? That is Thomas Jefferson. So that's what you'll put in for term. So for these three boxes, you need to find who the three presidents were, which... Hopefully you can figure out by clicking on the names. And then the remaining boxes, the other six, are men and women of the early republic. So once you find the three presidents, those three presidents will go in these three boxes. You will list two contributions for each. And then once you decide, or excuse me, if you figure out who the three presidents were, you will then find the other six names and put them here. And you will simply put two contributions for each person. So... Again, for part one, you should have done the vocabulary vocabulary already, excuse me. And then for part two, you will do the Geography of Early America page, which will be answering these four questions. And then you will do the People to Know, which are these nine people. And I have on Classroom that that is due April 17th, which is this Friday. So if you have any questions, please feel free to ask and let me know. But I will be returning the assignment back to you and reassigning it as... 
part two of the Unit 5 work packet. Hopefully you're all doing well, staying safe, staying healthy. And again, if you have any questions, please reach out to me and let me know. Thank you.